Welcome back to my video blog where I cover Azure, uh, data solutions, and a little bit of personal and professional development. Today we're going to continue our discussion of the modern data warehouse in part five, where we're going to talk about one of the seemingly forgotten elements of a full enterprise data warehouse deployment. That topic is data management. So whether it's data quality, master data services, or data governance, um, they seem to be an almost afterthought by many companies implementing an enterprise data warehouse. And even Gartner has recognized that only about 10% of companies use a full-featured data management solution. I believe this is often looked upon as unnecessary expense, when in fact, I feel these are critically important capabilities your enterprise data warehouse needs to ensure that your data is trustworthy and you have full visibility as to how it's being updated and accessed. Now, there are a lot of solutions and options for each of these buckets, so I'll give an overview of each topic and give a few solution providers and how they approach these data management aspects. Plus, we're gonna look at some legacy products and ways to implement yourself without a third-party solution. Now, in this video, I'm gonna focus on master data management, or MDM as it's commonly referred to. And I'll have two subsequent videos on data quality and data governance, as it would be a lot to cover in just one video. Now, Gartner defines MDM solutions as enterprise software products that cover the following. It will support the global identification, linking, and synchronization of master data access across heterogeneous solutions and give you a semantic reconciliation of that master data. It will also create and manage a central persisted system of record for master data. We call this a golden record. It will also enable generation and delivery of a trusted version of one or more subject areas to all stakeholders in support of various business initiatives. It's going to support ongoing master data stewardship and governance requirements through workflow-based monitoring and corrective action techniques, so an interface for correcting when there are issues, right? It's going to be agnostic to the business application landscape in which they reside. So whether it's a CRM system that you're cleansing or, or providing master data for or an ERP or whatever it happens to be, it shouldn't matter where it's coming from. You just want to be able to aggregate that data up and then uh, put it in the right format for your data warehouse. The other requirement is that it can be implemented by end user organizations without having to use a required professional, professional services, that kind of thing. So when you search the Azure, Azure marketplace, you're going to get dozens of results for MDM. Many of these vendors cover a suite of solutions, so identifying the right one may prove to be a bit challenging unless you've got a legacy provider that you're comfortable with and you just want to transfer that licensing to, your, to their cloud version if that's supported or run it in a virtual machine in Azure. For this reason, I'm going to cover three of the more popular MDM solutions that are available in the marketplace, but they can also be found in the Gartner Magic Quadrant. So that's where I, you know, I, I try to focus my attention. Now, before I jump into those solutions, I do want to remind you that as part of your SQL Server licensing, Microsoft offers master data services tool, and that can be run on a virtual machine within Azure. At the time of this recording, I'm not aware of any service from Microsoft directly that will become an offering in Azure. But of course, I'd never say never. So putting the service on Azure is an option, right? You can put it in a virtual machine, in IaaS, um, although it's not ideal as we try to eliminate some of those infrastructure requirements we have, patching and monitoring and all that kind of thing. But on the bright side, if you own the licensing, you own the software, so it'll save you some of that upfront cost. Now, that being said, there are certainly some gaps in the MDS product, and there haven't been any major enhancements in the past few versions, so it may not totally service your purposes either. I would definitely do some research on it and compare it with some of the solutions I'm going to talk about here in the video. Another consideration, depending on how much data you have and, and what the requirements are, 
would be to build your own MDM solution with a series of dimension tables, bridge tables, and Azure Data Factory or SSIS or your ETL tool of choice. This is a manual process, so it will take longer to implement and it won't have the bells and whistles of a built uh, MDM solution, but it may be your best option if cost is an issue and you don't have a ton of data. For instance, if you're looking to build a golden record for a product dimension or a customer dimension and your environment doesn't call for more, this could be done manually. From there, you could build a basic web app or a power app as the front end interface for your users to be able to work with the data. For third party offerings, I'll start with the Cadillac of offerings for both the on-premises and in Azure being Informatica. Now it's listed as by Gartner as with a high rating uh, in the leaders quadrant with a significant amount of view, reviews. So it seems to be pretty well trusted in the industry. Informatica has been a leader for many years in the space of data management, including master data management, data quality, um, ETL, data governance, data cataloging, and quite a full-fledged suite of products. Some that are tightly integrated and others that require a bit more configuration to get them to work together. Many customers I speak with typically use one or more of the Informatica products as they've been around for a really long time, about 25 years, and they're highly regarded. In Azure, they offer an iPaaS solution, which from what I can tell will help you spin up a cluster of servers running in the Informatica product that will then allow you to configure and manage your data uh, from within the interface they provide and then they manage the clusters and the services behind the scenes so there's less maintenance and overhead for your team. Of course, all of this capability and manageability comes at a cost, and anyone who's ever used Informatica generally says it's a great product, but it's expensive. So try to keep that in mind as you evaluate these. The next solution I'll discuss is Prophecy. Prophecy is another solution that has been around a while, with a bit of a different story than, than Informatica. Also, it's good to note that they are in the Magic Quadrant, but not in the Leaders Quadrant, listed as one of the customer choices. But from what I can tell, the only reason they're not in the Leaders Quadrant is because they didn't have enough responses to surveys about them to qualify. Um, but I've known them as a highly regarded and recommended product over the years. Much of the Prophecy team have um, deep-seated relationships with Microsoft, as some of the original founders were part of a company Microsoft acquired in 2007 called Stratature, who at the time was the leading MDM provider. They, uh, they developed one of the original versions of Master Data Services before it eventually became uh, a new product called Prophecy as a separate company and product. Now today, uh, they've recently announced a product in Azure that's a PaaS offering. And essentially what it does is it spin up, spins up a Kubernetes cluster and an Azure SQL database in your Azure tenant that runs the latest version of their very robust MDM software and then uses a web user interface for configuration and management of the platform. This approach is interesting to me, as it's the first application I've come across in the data world that is using a full Kubernetes deployment and considered the first PaaS option in Azure. Although I'm not sure it's listed quite yet in the marketplace, I believe version one will have to be manually installed using uh, ARM templates and PowerShell with support from the Prophecy team. Uh, but once you get running, it's all hands off from them and you get to run it from there. Now, the third offering in Azure that I'm going to talk about is Samarchi. Uh, Samarchi is a newer player in the game of MDM and data quality, but having recently seen a demo and overview of their product, I was pretty impressed with what I saw. The team over there has a very good history dealing with data management, and they have a slightly different approach to the MDM process. Now, similarly to Microsoft's MDS, uh, Samarchi is an infrastructure-based tool that you would install on a virtual machine. However, it has some pretty nice connectivity within the Azure network, and they've been able to work with their partners to create SaaS or PaaS offerings similar to those of Informatica or Prophecy. They have a very agile platform that they use and are able to get customers spun up very quickly with very good results. 
they pride themselves on understanding how your data requirements can change over time and want to be able to have that flexible platform to be able to change with those requirements. So I think there should be a pretty good sampling to get you started of some of the options in Azure as recognized as leaders by Gartner. Uh, but there are many, many other options. So as always, be sure to list out your requirements for today and into the future and make sure whichever product you use is aligned with those requirements. Now, I really appreciate all the support from my channel and on Twitter I'm getting, but it always helps to get more. So please be sure to share this video, like it, subscribe to my channel, put some comments in there and all that fun stuff. Really hope this helped to give you some ideas about what to do with your master data management. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time when I talk about data quality tools. So thanks very much for watching and have a great day. Bye.